Today, I want us to do something very important uh, as we continue in the series on spiritual realities. I want us to try to look at things from God's perspective. So the first one uh, that we must understand when we see things from God's perspective is that number one is God is not surprised at happenings. See, God is not taken aback when he sees things happen here on the planet. He never has and he never will be surprised at the things that are happening on the earth. Number two is this, that God is secure in his sovereignty. So God is very secure in his sovereignty. But we must understand this, that God is so secure in his sovereignty that he has decided to give up control. Now let's explain that. First of all, number one, we must understand that God is not in control of human choices. And God works where he is welcomed. See, God is not going to barge into your life and say, hello, I'm going to work in your, I'm going to change you. No, he's going to, he works where he is welcomed. So you and I must invite him. And God works in cooperation with our will and as co-workers with us. That means we discern God's will and we say, God, I am choosing to do what you want me to do. I'm going to do my part and I invite you to empower me to do that and I will work with you. That's how God wants us to work. Secondly, we must also understand that God is not in control of Satan. The third thing God is not in control of is God is not in control of the matters here on earth. But what God does is that he steps in where he is welcomed. Or secondly, he steps in in order to carry out his overall plan and purpose, which he predetermined from before the foundation of the world. That's when as sovereign, he can override man, he can override Satan, and he can override the natural elements and course of things on the earth. But he will do that only in two cases. One, when he's invited by us to do it in response to our faith and our willingness to cooperate with him. And secondly, when he needs, when he decides to carry out what he has predetermined, his predetermined purpose, his plan for the ages, that's when he sovereignly works. The third point we must, uh, when we look at things from God's perspective is this, that God is not intimidated by man or the devil. When God is looking at the air and he sees all this happening, he's not intimidated. He's not fearful. He's not trembling on his throne and saying, oh no, they don't believe in me. God is not intimidated by any of these things because he knows his truth will prevail. Number four, God decided and completed his work. As far as God is concerned, he has decided and completed the work. So look at this from the spiritual realm. He's looking out into the natural. The natural world is progressing in time, right? We're journeying through time. As far as God is concerned, he says, I've already completed the work that I want to do. As far as this planet Earth is concerned, he has already completed it. He has decided and he completed. When he looks at you and me, he just says, live out of what I've completed. You are a spiritual being. When you step into the spiritual, then you and I can start living out of what has already been completed as far as God is concerned. Number five, God is not in a hurry. Second Peter 3 and verse 8, and he says, a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years is like a day. In other words, for God, don't, don't bother me with this thing called time. A day is like a thousand years and a thousand years is like a day. I Meaning this doesn't even matter as far as God is concerned. So God is not in a hurry because he can compress time. What would take in our estimation, you know, maybe decades to happen, God can make it happen in an instant. Or what would take hundreds of years, God can make it happen in an instant. For him, time is not an issue. So God is not in a hurry. Number six, God will have the last laugh. God will have the last laugh. That's just an English phrase, to meaning to say that, you know, God is going to come out the winner. Nobody's going to argue against God at the end. At the end, we will see that God was right. God will have the last laugh. And therefore, when God looks at things, he's not afraid. He's not taken aback. Uh, he knows how things are going to wrap up and he knows what's going to usher us into 
what we refer to as the eternity future. Uh, so God sees all of this. And this is the perspective that God has on the natural realm on time.